Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ayyuh ala habba, it's not a mystery to any of us the importance of Qiyam al-Layl, of the night prayer. The portion of time after Salat al-Isha up until the time, the entering of the Fajr prayer, the morning prayer that this is a blessed time for the believer to have his or her needs met and to supplicate and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking his favor, seeking his grace, seeking his mercy, seeking his blessing, and coming closer to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the time of dhikr. This is a great time of, of remembrance and coming closer and drawing near to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ta'ala, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who benefit from our nights. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. In a narration in Sahih Muslim, Qala a Nabiu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ida mada shatra layl, o thulathahu, yanzilu lahu tabaraka wa ta'ala, ila samaad dunya, fa yakul hal min sa'il, fa yu'ti hal min da'a. فَيَسْتَجِيبْ لَهُ حَلْ مِنْ مِسْتَغْفِرْ يَغْفِرْ لَهُ حَتَّ يَنْفَجِرْ سُبْحْ In this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that was narrated in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ said, If half of the night, if it comes to half of the night, or to the third of it, Allah the Almighty and glorified descends to the Samad dunya, to the lowest heaven. And then he asks, he says, is there someone asking of me? Then he will give. Is there someone who is supplicating to me? Then I will give him is there someone who is seeking forgiveness then he will forgive him until the signs of fajr the signs of the morning prayer to the the morning prayer enters its time and this is collected in sahih muslim as we mentioned in this authentic hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it illustrates for us the importance of striving to benefit from our evenings. That the nights can be either a time of great blessing and reward, or they can be a time of being a cursed time. Why do we say it can be a cursed time? Because if we're doing the opposite of this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we are, for example, watching TV to the depths of the night. We are playing games or watching that which is muharram to the depths of the night. Then, in fact, we lose not only the reward, but in fact, depending on the level of the sin or of what we're doing, it can be a cursed night instead of a blessed one. And the opposite is what's illustrated in this hadith, is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven, that he finds his slave asking him, so he will give him, supplicating to him, so he will answer him, seeking forgiveness of him, so he will forgive him. And this continues on to the Fajr prayer. So this is the way, uh, a blessed way to spend your, your time in the remembrance of Allah, coming closer to Allah having hope and fear of Allah, illustrating taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, humbling yourself in humility before Allah and asking for your needs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven in a manner that suits His majesty. We don't know how and we don't question how because that is not, that's knowledge we've not been given. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not outline that for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not explain that for us any further in the Qur'an. 
So Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah accepts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven in a manner that suits His majesty. And then you're safe. But when you begin to try to explain away this beautiful ni'mah of a great time where the servant can draw near to his Lord is when you fall into error. And that which goes against the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَعَنْ عَمْرُ بِنْ عَبَّاسَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلَا عَنْهُ أَنَّهُ سَمْعِيَ النَّبِيُّ أنه سمع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول أقرب ما يكون العبد من ربي في جوف الليل فإن استطعت فإن استطعت أن تكون ممن يذكر الله في تلك الساعة فكون رواه أبو داود وترمدي ولف له وقال حديث حسن صحيح Will hakam will sahih ala shart Muslim. In this hadith, which many of the scholars like Imam Tirmidhi and uh, Al Hakam, that they and and in Sunan Abi Dawood as well, that they declared that this is a sound uh, Hassan Sahih. Imam Tirmidhi said, and Imam Hakam declared it was Sahih with the conditions uh, of Sahih Muslim, meaning the conditions that Imam Muslim used in his, uh, in declaring his narrations were sound in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith of Amr ibn Abbas, عنه, who said that I heard the Prophet وسلم, say, the closest time for the servant to his Lord is in the depths of the night. So if you are able to, then be of those who remember Allah during that time. And then it will be, meaning that you will be, it will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this hadith, it illustrates for us also the importance of being of those who come back to their Lord with humility and humbleness, and, and turn to him, and all the various forms of ibadah that should be directed only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, like supplication, that it should be directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and this is one of the most blessed times to do so. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who turn to him often, and be of those who benefit from our nights, not to, to be of those whose nights become accursed. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.